What up, y'all? It's your boy Tag coming at you again with another story behind the music. On my album, On That Swing, there's a song called After The Show. And really, After The Show, it's not a literal event. It's it's a figure to picture of some of the people that I might run into during my career as a rapper or, you know, on the road or whatever. And, you know, some of the stories that, you know, had they come at me or that in the future I will, you know what I mean, I, in the future I will be addressing, you know what I mean, what I would say to them, you know what I mean, and uh, the story is broken down into three pieces, the first verse is a guy, you know what I mean, that comes to my concert and stays after the show, way after the show, and the second verse is a guy who comes to a different concert and stays after the show, way after the show, and so in the third verse is a very concise answer to the both of them and what I uh, a little little tiny tiny piece of what I would say um it's a song so I couldn't squeeze everything I would say in there but um um the story on both verses both guys always starts out they stay way after the show after everything's broken down everybody's going home they wait for their favorite rapper to come out and they wait and they wait and they wait just so they can talk to me and the story always starts you know I mean they come up to me or whatever and they start complimenting Hey, you're the greatest rapper ever. I love your lyrics. I love this and that, that about you. You know what I mean? The show was awesome. Whatever. But, you know, it, you know in your head that they didn't stay two hours after the show to meet me just to tell me how great my lyrics are. And I'm thinking in my head, all right, so what, what what's going on that would make you stay way after the show to meet me? You know what I mean? And so, do, towards the middle of the verse, they get to the point for the first guy you know his struggle with pornography for the second guy it, you know what I mean for the second guy he is a dad and um he's struggling being with fatherhood because he didn't have a great example in the first place and so he's trying to fill the blanks out what being a dad is all about what what what's going on with that because you know his dad wasn't the greatest and he's still kind of ticked off about that and so you know what I mean it's and so they get to the point in the, about the middle of the verse, in the third verse, you know what I mean, I kind of respond to them and being like, you know what I mean, I really don't give them, um, in this song, I don't give them a flat out answer, you know, this, 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 and this, and what you do. First of all, I start with, hey, I know what you're going through, I know where you've been, you know, I know what you're trying to, what you, what you, where you at, because, you know, I've been there. And so don't think you by yourself, you know, what I mean, just because I'm on the stage, just because I'm rocking don't mean I got I don't got problems, too. And so don't think I don't think there are things I struggle with, too. And so, you know, what I mean, first of all, you know, let's get that out the way. You know what I mean, I know you coming at me, looking at me like I got all the answers, you know, what I mean, and I, I very well, you know, may be able to help you. But I, first of all, want to want to make sure you know that, you know, what I mean, I'm not on some pedestal or whatever. You know, and just letting you know, hey, I can identify with your story. And so, um, after the swing is really, you know, it's really me looking into the future at some of the people that I will come across and just being like, all right, you know, when they tell me their story, what would I say back to them? And, um, and people that, you know, I'm looking at the people that hang out after the show and, you know, I mean, these people that their lives have been ruined by secrets and you know what I mean lies and you know what I mean stuff that you know really they have no control over or some people have control over and some people don't you know what I mean like parents or whatever and so it's a look at you know just what I would say to them so there you go the story behind after the show